at this point, I'm, I have a few hats that I wear, one of which uh, is a singer-songwriter, and I write and perform uh, French, original French pop, chanson française, uh, my own stuff, and uh, I'm about to make my first solo record. But I also have been making a living for over a decade as a session drummer and a freelance drummer with a bunch of different bands, and both in the francophone and anglophone scenes uh, in Manitoba. And you grew up here in St. Boniface? I grew up uh, about five minutes away from this very place, uh, Centre Culturel Franco Manitoba. Nice. So I know it very well, and I actually, a lot of my first musical opportunities were here, and uh, still, I'm still very involved in the community music scene and art scene. So has coming then from the French quarter of Winnipeg, has mm -hmm. that influenced your, say, music and your career outside of the community as well as here? I don't think I would have had the same uh, sort of support had I been, you know, the kid from across the river kind of thing. So we do, we are very fortunate. I, the high school I went to, Collège de Riel, which is very close by, had a great music program, and the Sano, which is a musical organization that is hosting the show tonight, um, is also a huge part of uh, amateur musicianship in St. Boniface and in Man Franco, Francophone Manitoba as well. And um, so that basically kind of nurtured my, my beginnings in music and also helped me to, to network. And, uh, and obviously Winnipeg's a small city, small enough that you get to meet people the more you play uh, you know, at the West End or wherever. Once we started venturing right. to the Anglophone side, I, I, met, <laughs> I made a lot of contacts and, and uh, you know, contacts that I've kept over the years too. And so people seem to, to work. I have, I'm fortunate enough to be able to work in both communities. So over the years, have there been any kind of highlights in your career that have uh, stand out from others? Uh, I think the most recent highlight uh, as a singer-songwriter has been to, uh, to perform in Montreal. I got a, a call uh, last fall to do a show at the Place des Arts, which is a beautiful, mm -hmm. sort of like the Centennial Concert Hall, but it was a, they have a bunch of small satellite venues in there. People in Montreal are often a little leery of Western francophone performers because they don't know we exist or they don't think the quality could be up there. So I think we, we hit them with a nice, healthy punch and, and people really dug the show and I got lots of good uh, comments and criticisms and really good feedback from it. So I'm, I'm excited to go back and uh, that is where, as a francophone performer, you, you basically have to, to go out east to make a living. Western Canada has its pockets of community and places you can play, but you cannot make a living from the industry or what is of an is industry out here. So, so it has to be an exportable product, basically. Right. So that's my plan.